What is up everyone? Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to our vlog channel. We have a very exciting vlog today. We're starting from the car because we've actually been invited to a St. Modwin Homes housing development. Yeah, so we're finally going on like a little staycation a little bit of a getaway for a weekend which is nice because we haven't done that in such a long time yeah and the development is actually in copthorne near crawley but they have loads of different developments all across the country so if you want to check it out we'll have the link in the description so the reason we're quite excited to go here is because this house is actually a carbon negative home it actually produces more electricity than it consumes so crazy so i think it saves something like 79 percent uh, on the average uk house for energy bills yeah so we're just excited to see what it's like you know we want to build a house one day and to see like what the top standard is like mm -hmm. would, i think would be pretty cool wouldn't it yeah and we get to spend the whole weekend there to kind of film some content for them which is really exciting yeah and we get yeah. to have a getaway so that's great <laughs> yeah and we've got sky with us yeah so, yeah so let's go okay so we have just arrived at the house oh my god gosh it is absolutely stunning look at that cladding this is literally the house of my dreams i love it oh my gosh it's so pretty look at all the flowers wow how cool isn't it amazing yeah it's really nice i love that cladding that is literally what i want on our house <laughs> already spotted the ev charger oh yeah so good thing there's a charger because we really needed that juice didn't we <laughs> yeah it's quite a sneak one as well yeah i like it it looks very modern Should we go inside let's go inside so excited so this is the front door so nice isn't it yeah oh my really gosh like the Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. That's so cool. All right, guys, come on in. Come into my crib. I'm gonna do the honors and give you a tour. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, <laughs> I just spotted that. Oh my God, that is so cool. I hope we can keep it. So here is the hallway at a first glance. It is stunning. I love the interior so much. Look at the staircase. Yeah, it's really nice. This You're gonna hallway. give us the full tour then? I think so. Might well, as well do no, I'll, I'll let you have a chance as well. Okay, go on. <laughs> so this is, yeah, the hallway. It is actually quite tall, isn't it? Like the ceilings are a lot taller than a regular house. Yeah, it feels really, really quite big in here. It feels really spacious. And then we have the kitchen to the side. Oh wow, I love this. Isn't it so nice? It feels very spacious because it's a white kitchen. It's very modern. Also look at the windows. They're so nice, like the height of them. Yeah, it just adds so much like light into this kitchen. And then look at this. We actually have this in our own home. Oh yeah. The, the wall, wall panels. Yeah. We have this little breakfast area. Very cute. So on this side of the kitchen, we have an electric hob, which is so sleek. Yeah, I think that's actually induction. Is it? Oh, yeah. nice. And then we've got the double oven here which is very nice let's go back out into the hallway we have a little downstairs bathroom which isn't actually that little that's actually quite a big downstairs toilet isn't it yeah it's really nice as well actually yeah i, I love like the it. wallpaper yeah i'm not usually a fan of wallpaper that's really nice i know it's so cute i'm gonna do the downstairs and matt's gonna do the upstairs tour but this oh, is okay. the lounge area oh my gosh this is literally so my aesthetic when it comes to like interior design everything that's in here has like sustainability in mind and they've really drawn inspiration from like the surrounding areas as well where this home is situated i feel like i've seen these in one of your tabs oh yeah <laughs> i of, definitely have those on my wish list one of your 1000 tabs open yes, on your it's laptop stressing me out, but i just love home decor it is really yeah really nice in here yeah it's so like spacious as well and look at the setting oh my gosh they set it all out for us so out here we obviously have a garden with a little shed also there's like a little storage unit there what is that yeah that no that's like actually that. an air source heat pump oh. so it's basically a really environmentally friendly way to like heat the house and get hot water so there's no oh. gas there's no gas boiler that's so Nothing cool. Like that, so it's so. very, very eco then. Yeah, yeah. On this side, there's also a little like storage cupboard tucked away. What's in there? Yeah, we thought we'd switch around. Yeah. Um, so this house does have PV. It's got solar panels. Uh, and apparently it's also got a battery. So it's got wow. battery storage. So That's crazy. So your solar panels with the excess, they'll charge your battery. But when your battery's full, they'll heat your hot water tank. Oh my god, and so there's like then, so little power wastage. Well, it wouldn't be wasted anyway, it'd be sent back to the grid. Yeah, uh, yeah. And you don't get like, it's not, you might as well find a way to store it either in batteries yeah. or in hot water, so that's really cool. Yeah, and it's nice and tucked away in there, so that's good. Yeah. Do you want to give us a tour upstairs then? Yeah, come on upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> By the way guys, we have a guest. We brought Sky with us. Yeah. Hello. She loves it. 
What are you saying? She loves it in here. You do. <laughs> She like matches the aesthetic of this whole house because she's grey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we have three bedrooms. This one is the the small bedroom. This is kind of like designed like an office space. Yeah. I love that desk. Yeah. I kind of need it. I think. <laughs> wall panelling again. Yeah, wall panelling again. It literally feels like a home away from home because the interior is so similar to what we already have yeah, at home. Yeah, uh, except tidier. <laughs> yes, a lot uh, tidier. <laughs> I'll let you film in there. Okay. That's the second bedroom. This is the second bedroom. Sky's in here already. Um, again, the interior is insane. The bed, everything about it, the wallpaper. I just love all the furniture in here and it's actually a really decent size, you know? Yeah. It's good, good size. I love the prints as well. Uh, and then we've got the bathroom, which so again... So this is the main one, isn't it? Yeah, again, really nice. Yeah, really nice size, very modern. You know, we've got some boho themes going through it. Yeah, you've got the bamboo toothbrushes there already. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that. And then the best to last is the master bedroom. Oh my gosh. And, uh, <gasps> straight away I've noticed the side tables, those are nice. Oh, I um, love that. Look at those side tables, guys. It's a really nice size room, isn't it? Yeah, you've got loads of floor space, you know. Oh, look at that mirror. So yeah. cool. And the ensuite. Alexa, turn on the ensuite light. Okay. <gasps> Thank you. Wow. Oh, didn't actually know if that was going to work. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it on the table. Oh, cool. But, so uh, this whole house is like smart, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's got a hive. Out. It's got the hive bulbs. It's got everything. Yeah. It's all linked to Alexa. So. It's got the hive thermostat, I think. The yeah. hive um, the sensors, light bulbs, sen windows everything. and door sensors. How cool. Yeah. And a ring doorbell as well. Oh, yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. And then there's a little wardrobe area. So it's quite spacious in there, big mirror. I love a mirror in a bedroom, it just makes the bedroom feel even bigger. All right guys, so now that we're done with the house tour, I've actually got a little bit of work to do. So I've come into the office and I feel like it's such a nice space to just kind of get away, do my emails and that kind of stuff. So I'm really, really happy that there is a third room that is an office in this house. I absolutely love the vibe of this room. It's very minimalistic, but I feel like I have space to think and just get away and do some work in peace. I feel like now more and more people are working from home. So it's always nice to have that like third room that you can convert into an office like this. So I think I'm just gonna crack on with a little bit of work and then we're gonna actually go for a little walk maybe later on in the evening just to kind of explore the area. So we are now on our walk. As we mentioned, we would go for a walk to kind of explore the local area. It's really nice here. Yeah, I don't think we mentioned the name of the local area here. Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's called Copthorne. It's yeah. near Crawley. It's really, really nice around here. And it's like right on the side of like a good connection. I can't mm. remember the name of the motorway, but yeah. it's not far from the M25. Yeah, it's well connected. It's not that actually- It's pretty good. It's actually not that far from Brighton either, is it? Yeah, we're not that far. Yeah. We've actually been going on a lot of evening walks recently, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, we love doing evening walks. Just our thing to do at yeah. the moment. We're not that fit, so like this is our only time where we get to be fit, where we just go for walks and stuff. Yeah, it's just nice just to get the fresh air, Yeah. go outside. We are back from our walk now. We just decided to order some food in and there was actually like a really nice vegan place local that did Indian food and we love Indian food so it is. so excited. Yeah, it's literally our favorite cuisine, oh, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. But I was just saying to Matt, this is so nice. Like from our own home, we never really eat at a table. We always eat like on the sofa in front of the TV. So this is really nice to like have an actual table as the same. Oh yeah, room. That's like, kind of, I didn't really think about that. Yeah, yeah it's quite nice. It's really nice because you still get to like watch TV if you want to but you actually have like a proper setup to eat at so this is really cool. Alright guys so we've just finished dinner and we're just having a look on the iPad haven't we? Yeah so we didn't really explain what Passive House was earlier. Uh, it's basically, you've probably heard of it, it's like a German standard yeah. uh, and it's like low impact on the environment homes uh, that usually require little or no heating. Uh, and they do that by having insulation uh, that doesn't have any cold bridging, which is where you have gaps in insulation and generally very good air tightness, mm -hmm. triple glazing, things like that. And then in this house, we have mechanical ventilation, which basically keeps the air fresh because the house is so airtight and you don't have old fashioned air ducts in the doors and windows. There's nowhere for the air to ventilate. So yeah. you have that system. Uh, and that like makes the air really fresh. Have you noticed that? Yeah, definitely. And it's just still been so nice and warm without having to, you know, heat well, the place or anything like that. We haven't, I mean, I'm looking at all the data now. We're still bringing in uh, energy from the solar panels. 
the battery's charging, I've charged the car today, and we're basically bringing in nothing from the grid. So this house is like self-sufficient right now. That's crazy. Uh, and it should even uh, produce more than it consumes at some point. Which you can then store in that battery, right? You can store it in the battery, or like I said before, in the water tank. So if I look in the high vat, we don't have any heating on. We won't need any heating on. And then here we've got another app. That's the hot water level. So we've got 76% hot water. Uh, and the air source heat pump will just top that up when it needs to. And then we've got another app. There's uh, a lot of apps, isn't well, there? I love the apps. I know, me too. It's just so convenient when you can access everything like right from your phone. Yeah, and this app just tells us that, you know, what we've generated today, what we've exported. Good morning, guys. So we're on day number two now. Yeah, so last night we just basically watched some movies. Yeah, the bed uh, was so comfortable. I literally didn't want to get out this morning. <laughs> just chilled out, really. Uh, today yeah. we found like a garden centre in the local area. Uh, mm -hmm. Another one of our little hobbies is just going to garden centres, particularly know. ones that sell like bigger trees and mm -hmm. also like things that uh, you don't exotic, really find. Yeah, exotic, Yeah, like exotic plants. Yeah, especially like mature trees, all that kind of stuff. Plus yeah. we went to a place recently that sold like ridiculously expensive Japanese. Oh, cherry blossoms, um, they were so amazing. And the uh, the ones that you like go around with the little scissors. Oh yeah, the like, like little cloud bonsai. ones. Like, yeah. These were like 10,000 pounds. Oh my God, they were trees. ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, it's such a lovely day for it. So we're just gonna go and explore. All right guys, so we've made it to the garden center. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful here, isn't it? Yeah, check out the size of this bamboo. It's so Massive. thick. And I found some favorites already. Yeah, we really want to get this, don't we? This is new to me. But you like this one, don't you? I love this one. It's so nice and it's quite a hardy plant. But this one, look at the bark. It's like black. We thought it was wrapped with something, but that's actually how it looks. It's crazy, right? Yeah, they've got a lot of tropical, a lot of tropical stuff, don't they? Yeah, they've got little like palm trees and things, bamboo, all sorts. So we're going to go explore. These are my kinds of plants. Oh my gosh, look at that. It looks like a little rainforest jungle, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, not that any of these are suitable for our house, but no. <laughs> that goal of building our house one day, like we just love to get inspiration for yeah. what sort of plants we'd want. Yeah, for it. sure. so we're back now from the garden center it was so nice that wasn't it yeah it was really nice and there were some plants i haven't seen that before oh yeah we've sure. had a great weekend here it's been so uh, nice but sadly it's time to check out now yeah so we're going to be going now but we had a good weekend didn't we? yeah it was definitely really good to experience what a passive house is like and how it kind of differentiates from like a standard you know yeah. regular build yeah it was good but uh yeah that's all that is all we hope so. you guys enjoyed this vlog and hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one see you in the next one then bye see you guys